I am Donna and this is Budget Friendly Cooking. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite basic sauces. So uh, it's kind of like pesto made of herbs, whatever herbs you find at home. And I made it a couple of weeks ago because I had like a lot of herbs at home that I knew that I was not going to use. So I tossed everything in my food processor, added hazelnuts because that's what I had. Uh, a couple of garlic cloves, lemon juice, um, apple cider vinegar, uh, red pepper, and that's how I created that. Actually, I won't take all the uh, credit for this sauce because in Georgia we make something like that using hazelnuts and fresh uh, coriander, not fresh coriander, the coriander that already starting to flower, the, those green seeds that are ready to turn brown. So we use it and we use uh, mortar and pepper hassle to grind it add a little bit of hot pepper garlic and they create this amazing sauce called uh, green ajika so this is kind of something like that but i combined the ingredients of pesto and ajika so i have here a bunch of cilantro uh nice beautiful cilantro let me just make sure that every leaf is nice and fresh i just rinse that usually it's good if you wash and dry a little bit so that there's not a lot of water and we go through this uh, sauce like so fast we eat it with eggs uh, with veggies with meat like put it over the meat it's fantastic everybody's obsessed with that i have a little bit of parsley and i'm just gonna toss it here sometimes i make with mint if i have basil i add basil i have a couple of uh, three garlic cloves not a couple three garlic cloves and i'm gonna toss it and my red pepper just gonna use a little bit of uh, lemon zest because i love the flavor of a uh, lemon zest in these and pretty much in everything if i make if i use lemon i use lemon zest in dressings it just gives such a nice flavor because all the oils and flavor is in the zest so don't waste it use it okay perfect and juice you can juice that whoops <laughs> And I sometimes add a little bit of olive oil because it um, um, makes the pesto to keep the green and fresh color and gives additional flavor, of course, because I use really good olive oil. Hazelnuts, I have a half a cup of hazelnuts here. And I'll see, if I need to add more, I'll add more, but I think it will be enough. A uh, little bit of salt, uh, half a teaspoon, maybe a little more there we can start with that and if i need to add more i'll add more all right okay make sure you clean the edges and push those down there you go and let's add a little bit of vinegar a tablespoon about and i'm gonna add about two tablespoons of olive oil and that's it so far. All right. All right, perfect. Should be done. So I think it was a perfect amount of hazelnuts because the cilantro looked a lot, but it actually was not a lot. It faded down. So that's what we have. Okay, let's taste it. Mm. Mm. Very good. Mm. Perfect. All right, I'm going to move it in the container, and uh, that's it pretty much. You can save it in the fridge for more than a week. It does not really last more than a week in my family. And there you have it. Beautiful cilantro pesto with hazelnuts, lemon juice, and olive oil. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll make it at home, and I'll see you next time.